Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Infection Free Zone. It is a zombie survival base builder where it actually pulls from real world map data uh, to generate kind of a, a survivable, uh, a survivable location, a location for you to you set up and rebuild society in. We gotta pick a place. This is actually a town I used to live near. Uh, this is the Thai restaurant I used to eat at all of the time. I just start here, but this seems like a really awful spot. I like this kind of triangle. This seems like it would be really easy to put a couple of towers along and just wall off as this kind of defensive triangle. Uh, so when we start, let's see, which has the biggest storage capacity? And people, because I think the bigger the building that you start in, the more people you start with as well. So it seems like 37 is about the upper limit. So uh, one of these was 30, that's 33, 32, 22, 31. Okay, let's go for this one as our headquarters, and we're just going to take over every single building in this immediate vicinity. Operator, this is first squad leader. We've made our way out. The neighborhood looks deserted. We'll have to scavenge the nearby buildings for any useful resources. All right. So turn on resource view, and we are going to go to create a new squad. Second squad, first squad, and then... Squads panel, create one more squad. Okay, beyond that, we are also going to do gather wood on, like, a couple of these. We don't have that many people, but we want to loot as much as we possibly can before it gets too late. And, yeah, if we can get a lot of wood, we can set up kind of in this immediate area and, like I said, get those palisades, have this really nice, defensible, small location... And since we're kind of on the water and we have a bunch of green space here, we might be able to build some buildings kind of out to this direction. Because I'm hoping the zombies can't swim. Maybe vampires. They're kind of vamp zombies. They're a little smarter than the regular variety. Fortunately, the game's a little on the hitchy side. Let's see if I can turn that down. Let's just do very low. Who cares? Nope. Seems like it's just kind of dynamically loading some stuff in. Right. And I can set extra locations to search. I think the smaller the, the buildings, the easier and faster it is. But yeah, we're just going to get a whole bunch of that. And you know what? Uh, let's see. Shelter. We can build at least one defense. Defensive structure. I'm just going to build one tower here for the time being. Actually, maybe not. Let's cancel that. I'll build one defensive tower here. Because that'll be for sure inside the wall. Because I think I'm going to have the wall go along the train tracks. Alright. I'll speak on behalf of the other citizens. Let's go and adapt to buildings into suitable shelters so we don't spend one more night underground. Alright. So we're just going to build this into a shelter. Living quarters 57. Yeah. Let's just do that. Unfortunately, I need a lot more wood before I can do anything, presumably. Okay. Crates are in the HQ. Might be some more resources nearby. Scavenge more locations. Yup. And yeah, we're going to have to go a fair bit further, but we got a lot of houses and small buildings down here. And then a lot of bigger stuff out this direction that we might be able to snag. It is very funny knowing kind of what some of these locations looked like or look like in real life. And I like I'll say the simulation isn't fully accurate here. Uh, that this Starbucks here, I think this is supposed to be a Starbucks, uh, is not nearly that huge. It's well, I guess it's a Starbucks and a Trader Joe's. And so I'm not actually sure if that's that small or large. If we want to build anything else. We'll need more resources. Go chop down some trees. Anything else? Ah, go to HQ and then exchange. Unavailable in the alpha version. So no resources pistol. We have to assign workers, but we have no guns. 
hopefully we'll be able to find some around here. I don't know if this game dynamically checks, like, for gun stores and whatnot. Because the one thing I will say is, uh, Arlington is not exactly what you would consider a particularly, uh, armed town. Okay, let's grab those. Sun is getting low. Don't know what's going to happen at night, but we can continue our scavenging operations in the dark. I can't... Oh, we can continue in the dark, but it's going to be way more dangerous. Okay, carry on. Need those resources. So the workers will be returning home. And honestly, most of these guys are even going to return home. Let's see. So let's, let's have these guys finish up, and then we'll just disband them. I don't think we need to have worry too much at this point in time. But the next couple of nights are going to get kind of kind of spicy dicey. And hopefully the uh the zombo hordes don't uh don't wander too far in this direction. But I think once we have like a couple of towers and have properly armed them and have those walls, it'll be much easier. Hopefully we can also make stuff like bows as uh, the one thing. It feels kind of silly that it's firearms only because honestly if I was in this situation ooh, if I was in this situation I'd be looking into you know getting a bunch of fences and barricades and then using spears like I got some logistical issues with the walking dead um, but I will say that their decision to have zombies get stuck on fences uh, objectively correct. Okay, so let's bring them back to HQ. I think that's actually also the thing in, um... Do -do -do. Metal Gear Survive. Like, I've always wanted to specifically play that just for goofs. Whoa. We just saw a group of infected. They might not be aware of our presence yet. So we're going to hide, but... We've had a couple groups just wandering around here. I don't really want to fight them if I can avoid it. Okay, so they now have guns and can defend. I'm just going to have these guys hang out here. Oh, nope. Let's see. I don't really know if there's a way to run. But we do have the tower. And this is why we want the tower. We might as well clear out some of the hordes nearby anyway. Perfect. Okay. Anything else to do? I mean, there's like a couple of lads, but that's it. Let's, uh, let's go bring resources back at the very least. We have oodles of food, which is kind of what I'm looking for. And yeah, let's just stay vaguely within range of this, this tower. I wonder if you can actually, like, deconstruct a building. Or maybe this is a mistake. Let's just put them back here. Okay. So I should stop being super gutsy here. I don't know if you can actually deplete all of these zombies. Okay. Yeah, so I might, I might want to stop for the night. And just have both of these squads hanging out. So what can we build? Let's see. Wingate. Drag to rotate. Yeah. Now here's the question. Pause for a second. Can I read about this? 
Block the passage of the palisade. Let's see, wooden pa palisade. Oh, good. I can just click and drag. It's not even that expensive. Let's just do that. Let's just do that for now. Kind of extend. Because we don't have enough guns to go around. But I just want to have this area be somewhat walled in. Not that we can do anything with it while it's still nighttime. I'm really curious about these hordes. Uh, if they are specifically... If they can be cleared out. For good? Because on a personal level, like, I really like the idea of zombie survival games where you can actually permanently... Ooh. Ooh. Where you can permanently destroy all of the zombies on the map. Okay, so they're just going to be there for the day. That'll be fine. Okay, we are out of wood. I'm just gonna set like a big long path for those guys to take. Hopefully the zombies don't come out during the day at all. I'm gonna type human. Oh, you probably get like zombie dogs. Night was easy, but they're gonna be more infected around here. We should build some defenses before nightfall. I've already built a wooden tower. Oh, but it's gonna want me to build another one. Okay. Signs of smoke from a building. There might be some people. Cool. Let's just finish with this one then. And then we'll head for head for that smoke. We've got tons of food. Let's see. I only have one unemployed person, so I think we're good. Okay, hold up. Oh, we've maxed our scavengers. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have these guys go out here first. Let's see. We've got oil. I don't think I've seen anything that's even remotely close to labeled as a gun store, which is maybe a bit of an issue. There's some medicine, though. Maybe at some point I can actually, like, fabricate some of these. Yeah, let's, um, actually grab these people. Chief, we found some survivors. They've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years. We should bring them in, or we could bring them in, but will we be able to feed them? Yes. Okay, time to find out if these zombies just decide to ambush the nearby survivors. Are we perfect? Perfectly safe during the daytime. Seems like we are golden during the day. Unfortunately, a lot of these houses have absolutely nothing in them. Which really does make me hope that we can, uh, we can in fact, like, I don't want to say destroy certain things. What can it, else can we do? We can make arms. Chief, we found some seeds in one of the buildings. It looks like grain. There's some farming tools as well. Maybe we could use them to start cultivating the land again. Alright, bring it in. And we also need a place to cook. Field cookhouse. Well, hopefully we have some iron. Oh, so I can actually just adapt one of these. Storage capacity, 17. Production max workers. I don't know how many we need. I'm just going to adapt that one. Into being a cookhouse. And then we should do some farming. Uh, 
Okay. Awkward. You know what? Actually, let's cancel that. I'll just put one field here for the time being. We should probably also gather wood off this tree. Get it out of there. I mean, no reason to be searching these houses. And we've got a decent amount of food. Not nearly enough guns is the one issue. I'll have to see if I can get some proper scavenger camps at some point. Because it doesn't look like I can do anything with that. Probably also get a warehouse. Now, we could have the world's biggest warehouse. But, oh, that's going to be really expensive. We'll leave that for later. Whoop. Do we have enough time? I don't think so. We'll, we'll go for that the next day. Hopefully we'll be able to clear out some of the undead here. But I'm not... I'm not going to prioritize it at the moment. I really wish I could have more people's lumberjacks. And scavenger. Is it... Is it just on a... Oh... That's what it is. Two people can be chopping a tree per day. That's the issue. Okay, so we're just gonna bring that back. You're gonna come back. Uh-oh. Okay, go this direction. Almost nighttime. Alright, I think between all of them, they'll have no trouble. However, there's another horde. No, it looks like we're fine. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at a couple of things. What I might want to do is actually just uh, send both of these out simultaneously. Can I not select them both? Okay, we've got that small horde. But they're probably toast. Now, I don't think I'm bold enough to go out. I don't I don't think we have enough firearms. Better to just rip through a bunch of these. Okay, well, you know what, while we're here, how many more fields can we kind of fit into this space? Not many there. I think it's why I'm going to want to have this area be farming related. Yeah, I think it's a good thing that I'm actually staying indoors at the moment. We also have a research panel. Basic antenna, chemistry, and pistol production. But we need more scientific materials. Yeah, I made the correct call. That's a lot of undead. Doesn't look like they're doing too much damage to the walls either. Which is good. 
But yeah, sending these guys out would have been dicey. Like, especially right here. We might be able to do it. I'm not betting on it. Okay, so let's let's speed this up a little bit. If another horde decides to come, they decide to come. But otherwise, I'd like to just uh, keep clear. Okay. Ah, damn it. They're in the farming. They're in there with all the seeds. At least we got food for a while, but that that objectively sucks. Well, I'm going to I'm going to set as many of these trees to gather as possible while we're kind of stuck with this. Cuz yeah, I don't I don't think we need 29 builders. And who knows, we might get some, uh, get lucky with another set of seeds. And unfortunately, uh, Dunderheads here were just grabbing all the farm tools. Or just tool tools? I don't know. Did we finish the cookhouse? Ah, we're just waiting for wood. To all survivors, the infected is in decline. Uh, S Settler and... Rebuild? It's IFZ. This is the infection-free zone. Please respond. The survivors, the infection is in, in decline. The others... Okay, is somebody there? Can you hear me? Hello? Which channel? Chief, this is the same transmission we received before, but the signal is even weaker. Walkie-talkies aren't powerful enough for long-range communication. We have to build a large antenna. Local library or university would be a good place to search for info on how to make it work. Okay, luckily I do know where a library is. Well, there was one over here. The survivors that we took in, they have some important info we could use. They speak of various kinds of infected animals that they encountered, and the other groups of survivors too. But, uh, but they lost people recently. It'll take some time for them to integrate. Let me find them some jobs. And shelter for them. Yeah, sure. Okay, yep. They're still set. Chief, we found an assault rifle. This will come in handy against large hordes. Let's not waste too much ammo on nothing. Okay. Yeah, let's just clear out as many of these small houses as possible. Some of them seem to have kind of good things. Most don't. Let's see. Materials-wise, we are... Pretty much every bit of wood we have is going immediately back into... Building these walls, it looks like. Which... I, I can't complain about. We do need more guns, though. Okay, anything else for me to do? Not really. We have objectives. Oh, I see. I wasn't sure if I would be able to get, like, small upgrades or something. The other thing we desperately are going to need is some ammunition. We are kind of running low. That's going to make this a little tougher. It's part of the reason why I was like, bows and crossbows and spears and stuff would make a lot of sense. You know, the fact that... I don't want to say I'm like slightly obsessed with zombie tech, but it's one of those where it feels like there should be more... Um, in ingenuity, I guess. I wish Shell didn't do that. Well, it's fine. Okay, where were we? Where are we? Oh, gosh. Okay, here we are. 
And I'm just going to keep searching all of these small buildings. We're just going to have to hope that these hordes don't camp out here again. Uh, it might be one of those where we actually have to just um, lure them away. We could do that even. And pull them, pull them away from my settlement. Or pull them towards my settlement so we can blast them. Let's start searching this one. It's probably going to take a little while. How's this looking? Trees are almost completely chopped. The field is being worked on. The walls are done. Oh, and the gate. The gate can even have guns. So in that case, I guess we don't need a whole lot of towers. We can just have um we can just have a bunch of gates. So in that case I might wanna I might wanna decommission this one. I don't know how to do that, actually. I don't know if I can destroy things. The problem is that's a very large group. Okay, let's get out of here. I never couldn't quite tell where the exit point is. Okay, I think we'll make it. I hate to lose this squad. This one's going to suck a bit. Okay, ho horde eliminated. Uh, first horde eliminated. And yeah, these guys seem to be kind of zigzagging back and forth. Which makes my life a lot easier. Okay. Uh, next order of business. I'm going to bring both of them out. We need to lure this group. This area can't have so many Zed. Okay. I think they're all coming, which is all of a sudden looking really spicy. These Zed seem to have uh, extremely good vision. Hope the walls do their job. Can I, um... Can I, like, close the gate? Uh... That was kind of glitchy. But luckily, this random person... Oh, they're probably going to go get ammo. I need to assign two workers to the gate anyway. That explains maybe some things. Probably just have one guy working it. I don't think we need more than that. Okay. Or, oh, never mind. Get back in there. So the problem is, I don't think I'm going to be able to survive another night like this without actually finding some ammo. Let's, um, see if I can find a gun store. A store store is cars. But, uh, this might actually be one of those where, uh, you have a really bad time in this game unless you're in an area that actually does have some level of firearms. I, I still think crossbows, bows, spears, uh, spike barricades and stuff. Like, the fact that, um... You know, the fact that we can't make more primitive weapons uh, to arm everybody is slightly annoying. Uh, 
lads. No, they had plenty of ammo. I don't know what was going on there. Yeah, we're gonna finish our palisades. The problem is too many palisades. Like, okay, this is way too many zombies. Is part of the issue. Wait, did the person here die? Ah, damn it. They might have actually died. Uh, uh, let's see. I guess we're just gonna have to go from store to store. And just hope for the best. Because, yeah, we got the drugstore there. What is this? Telling me this has something. Unfortunately, yeah, if we don't get ammo, we die on the next night, which is going to be an issue. I guess I'm just going to go all the way out here and hope we can find something useful. Uh, let's see. Beyond that, gather things. Keep gathering wood. Okay, incoming transmission. Chief, we found a dead animal, but the thing is, it was shredded to pieces. Couldn't be some ordinary infected. There are teeth marks on uh, on some of the skin, and it looks like dog teeth. Yeah, so we've got uh, dog zombies. Okay, let's just do times two speed. We'll check this house, see what it has. Probably research inf information. Liquor store. Yeah, I don't think that's going to have what I'm looking for. Okay, build palisade. Yeah, another wooden gate. It doesn't like that. I guess I'll just... Not that. Oh, there's a street light. There's a street light in the way. Can I uh, gather metal off of it? I can. It looks like there might actually be a couple of these. Out of pistol. I don't think I'm going to find anything useful, so I'm just going to search all of those and hope for the best. We're out of pistols, we are also very much out of ammo, and considering it seems like the hordes are... N Nigh infinite? Uh, it's a bit of an issue. I mean, can I make anything? Chemical plant, sawmill, tool factory, workshop? Yeah, the problem is I think we literally don't know. I don't know why there was an objective. Oh. We found a tech some scientific materials. Okay. I'm going to just search those that we're probably going to have to bail before we get anywhere. And we got a lot of food. But we don't need food at the moment. I'll just leave it there. And what we need is an ammo... F uh, I don't even need pistol production. 
Oh, here we go. Arms factory allows you to produce ammunition for firearms here. Okay, unfortunately I need three sci scientific materials for... Ammo. So, like, w I think we might just be out of luck. That we just don't have enough ammo nearby. I mean, I guess it's kind of a learning experience of, like, can you survive in an area without, uh... Without a decent surplus of ammo to start with, and the answer is no. I mean, maybe if you, like, beeline for the library and then just uh, rip up a bunch of streetlights, I think that's probably the way to do it. Uh, Blessed Bee? Oh, wrong group. Well, we got one bit of ammo. And I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to get it in time. Yeah, we're not. So, yeah, we have no crops. I guess we never went to go get those seeds, did we? How much risk am I willing to put up with? Not that much. I think I'll have these guys search. Oh, we got a little bit of ammo. Nope, time to go. I don't... Oh. Oh, that's interesting. This is all one horde. It's just there's one zombie way in the front, and the rest of the zombies are not. But, anyway. What I was going to say is I kind of wish there were two different tiers of research. Kind of your weird uh, Z-Tech uh, MacGyver nonsense. Which is just, like, spears and barricades and spike barricades and strips and whatnot. Things that, uh, anybody could potentially cook up, make, and use. These gates are so confusing. Okay, need a workspace where we can experiment and re-engineer all the pre-pandemic technology. You can store all the books there, too. Build a research center and assign technical minds there. Maybe that's how we get extra research. Okay, and then we have zombie dogs. They're not even animating, though. Heads up, there are infected dogs coming fast. Uh, engage? I am still confused about this gate, gate guard situation we've got going on here. Because they really don't keep that gate open or closed. Okay, so let's pause. What else can we do? Butchery, warehouse shelter, palisade tower, research center. That costs a lot of metal. Oh, you can partially adapt. Press and drag left mouse button to partially adapt. Interesting, I can cover all of it, or only part of it. Well, it's certainly a lot cheaper if I only do part. 
We'll have to wait, though. Sadly, there's not much I can do or even want to do here, especially without uh, consistent ammo supply, and we're pretty much hosed. Oh, the zombies do swim. That changes things a little bit. Not like a huge amount, but enough that it's a legitimate, uh, it's a legitimate worry. Let's zoom out a little bit. Do we have any libraries? Yeah, we got one all the way down there. We got a couple over here. It's the dual use bookstore I used to go to. It is. Oh, that's fun. I'm glad that it recognizes some of those things. Okay. Neither of you seem to have much of anything. Got another horde coming in. <sighs> yeah, the problem is for how limited ammo or limited my ammo supplies. We uh aren't very limited in terms of Zed that will attack us. Come on, go home. Go home. Okay. Okay, let's just send them off to go grab things. We gotta go get knowledge. The problem is we are just not going to have enough resources for anything. Or everything. Okay, gather wood. Couple of trees there left to snag. But that's about it. Yeah, we are out of grain. Oh, we've got another transmission. Oh. Spotted people. Probably armed. They could have seen us too. I can't tell if they're friendly. What should we do? Approach friendly. And then I'm mostly just going to ignore them. Is we have 30 wood. That's not terrible. Okay, they seem to be hostile, in fact. Wonder if they had any loot for us. Building clear. Uh, let's see. So, you know what? Actually, all things considered... We don't need this three food. We need grain. Okay, many of our workers don't have jobs. Oh. Pause. Uh, gather metal. That should kind of be it. Okay. Please tell me you've actually found some research. Because, yeah, we, we effectively have maybe one night's worth before we completely run out of stuff. And then we are hosed. Ooh. We're not going to be able to get those, that grain. It seems like the fields are kind of... Oh, okay, now we're getting it. The fields are kind of paying out. I'll put a second one here at the very least. Yeah, unfortunately we're not going to be able to fit any more in here. At least not until we've gotten rid of some of the other stuff. Okay, pause. Again, please tell me you're done. One book. I might have to just 
pull these people up. I'm not entirely sure. And unfortunately, my people are not faster than the zombies. Actually, let's just follow them. They okay, they haven't noticed me. I'm hoping if I stay a couple streets away, they won't see me. A little hitchy in this view. But yeah, one one book is brutal. Because I need chemistry. Which means I need at least four books. Okay, let's just speed this up. And who, who knows, we might have gotten a little lucky here. Nope, there's the hordes. Oh, timing on this is spicy. I still can't tell if the... Uh, I still can't tell if the gate is working. Okay. Well, one way or another, uh, I think I'm going to have to... I don't want to say call it quits here. Uh, it, it's getting a little late and I have to uh, finish off before some exterminators show up. Um... I really like this game. It just needs... I'm going to call it Z-Tech again. I need bows. The fact that I can't have, uh, like, small levels of primitive weaponry, slings, bows, rocks, uh, people with spears on the other side of the fence, you know, make little spe uh, gaps in the palisade so that people can stab. Little, um... I don't want to case... I mean, effectively, punchy sticks. You know, dig some pits, put spikes in them. The zombies aren't going to know. Um, I, it might make the game a little too easy, question mark, but it does feel like this is a game of attrition that I currently can't win because I didn't know how to win and now it is too late. Uh, we have n no ammo. We are about to run out and as soon as that's gone, like this tower is out and most of my survivor groups are f fresh out and have nothing. You know, here's another group of survivors, but I can't loot them either. And I, I think mostly it just boils down to uh, a matter of, like, being more efficient the next time. Possibly uh, possibly spawning in an area where I know there is a gun store. Uh, so I'm gonna, I might even use Google Maps to see if I can find a gun store in Arlington area next time I play this, if I play this again in this zone. Uh, just to say, like, yes, I can for sure get some ammunition uh, because whatever I start with is woefully in insufficient. And once again, who knows? Maybe the devs will actually, in fact, put in... Um, will, in fact, put in bows and spears and stuff. At which point, I won't have to worry about this quite as much. You know, make them still do a lot of damage, but fire slower. Uh, and cost wood uh, in mass to kind of produce. I, I feel like there should be two different kind of research tech. Things that you can kind of come up with on your own. Uh, that your researchers can just noodle at, and maybe eventually they'll start uh, recreating actual proper science. Um, and then actual things that you need to go out and get manuals for. Uh, I think, actually, you, that's kind of the division in Zomboid, if I remember right. There's a lot of stuff that you just kind of know how to make right from the get-go. And then a lot of things that you don't, and you need books for, I think. Anyway, for now at least, uh, if you guys want to play Infection Free Zone, I believe the demo is still available on Steam and will be for a while. It's pretty solid. It needs a lot of time in the oven, uh, but it's got it's got a lot of what I'm looking for in a zombie survival game. I just uh, that needs that time. What is this big building? I don't actually know if I recognize this giant place. That might be a high school. No, because Arlington High School is like down here. Like this one, I think. I forget. It's been a while. Anyway, so with all that said, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, 
then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.